Hi guys, it's Brooklyn and welcome to my channel. So today's video is going to be a review of this effing tan. Yes, you heard me, effing tan. In the shade of dark. It's basically their tanning foam. Yep, it's called tanner foam. I know some brands call it mousse and some brands call it foam. I just call it mousse, but it's called foam in this particular brand, which is effing tan. Okay, the name literally makes me giggle so hard literally the name is <laughs> okay i've been dreading trying to get this video out because f and has such a flipping crazy funny name but it is available at super drug i got it 10 days ago so not last birthday but the first day before it's now sunday and i've tried it out twice i am wearing it now now the camera does wash me out a little bit around the chest because obviously sometimes the tan doesn't last that long around here and my thing is showing. <laughs> right, that's what the packaging looks like. It's quite chic looking. Horton, if you notice I like teeth box on the lid, my friend son Horton chewed my lid of this and I was reading at him. Such a lovely packaging, he ruined it with the teeth marks and all. Literally, I left this tan bottle on my bed with my towel so I had a towel underneath the tanning bottle and my mitt and all done my skincare for two minutes like literally two minutes caught him with my tan i have raging livid literally livid but the packaging is beautiful it's like a grayish kind of like a nerdy grayish color it's nice it looks more gray on the camera but it kind of has a gray look in real life but more brown in real life that makes sense and the writing's all in white so it is decently clear I would say. It's very very simple the packaging too and yeah little security sticker there. But yeah it's a new tan available in Super Drug and we do have the foam so they have medium dark and ultra dark. I think that is yeah medium dark and ultra dark. And you also have two granite tanners. Now the granite tanners are in like a big pump like a circle pump bottle and they have the min like the medium and then me in the dark and I think they do have some tanning waters too and like facial tanners and stuff but I haven't tried them I've seen a couple tans well a good range of tans in super drug my sister actually got the what do you call it the gradual in me in the dark just to try it out for her holidays and I might get that at some point either for my holiday. Maybe oh, I've got a tan like the grads I want to use for my holiday in June. Depends on when this video goes up, I don't know. But I'll probably get the F and tan <laughs> um graduate tanner after you that tan up the other graduate tanner I have. The other graduate tanner I have if I could speak, which is the Garnet one. But yes, I do like it so it does retail for i think it's 19 pound i will put it on here so it's available on superdrug and also on the f and tan website and if you hear any notice it's from like the um street i do live up on the belt up area so excuse me to hear some dog barking not my dog someone else's or we hear someone like talking in the street cars going past planes going past Apologies for that, I do live up in a belt of area and I do live quite close to the town. So yeah, I can't do anything about that. So <laughs> moving on. Um yes and what else? So I did get some sub drug like I said before. They had a good range in the one in Castle Court. So if you're looking for one either the one in Castle Court or the one in town too. I believe it's available on all the other ship drugs. I'm not entirely sure, but the ones in town, it definitely. So if you're looking for it, the best bet is to go to the one in town. Because sometimes some shops in different parts of the country can have like less talk of it. So yeah, the smell of it uh, does have a bit of a sweetie smell. It has a bit of a plasticky smell, but not too much. It's very burly lower smell. So. So thick it can cause much problems with people who are sensitive to smells because it's really hardly noticeable. I barely notice when I 
like put it on my body. I am wearing it now, so it's a couple of days old and I know the camera is washing me out, but that's literally, I don't look up here in real life, I actually look a lot darker. <laughs> I should start filming my iPad showing these tan reviews, but hey ho. I don't know why my camera is picking me up so pale and not that pale. I can assure you I'm not, but it is a nice, I would say dark on me. I've got pale skin, so I'm an NC10 and Mac. When you pump it out, it does give more of a, like a golden effect, but when it's rinsed off, it does turn out a bit more olivey. Because I remember asking the girl who was serving me in Tip Drug when it was banned, hand, asking her about the undertone and all, because it is important to me. I prefer an olive or natural undertone. So I remember asking her, Do you know what undertone it is? Is it olive? Is it golden? And she said, it's olive when you rinse it off and she is right, it does give you more of an olive cast. Like I can see my arm, even though it looks proper white to you, it's not, trust and believe it's not. Even now if you see my arm there, it's the true, or closest to true colour possible. Like I do look, maybe it might be alright when I edit this video, but I do look <laughs> really pale on this camera, but I'm not, I can assure you I'm not. Um. But I will have clips of what the colour looks like. Like almost true or like as true as I can. But yes, it does look more warm when you are wearing it. But it isn't too, like, not too warm where it's orangey. It's like a natural warm. But when you rinse it off, it's more olivey. Which is really, really nice. And it's what I want. Um, And it doesn't go really, really sticky on you. It, I would say it's more in the middle. It's not a very, very dry tan, but it's not a very, very sticky tan. It's more in the middle. It does need a bit, like a little bit of time to set before you can put your clothes on. Um, but it isn't too bad. It isn't like a really, really like a sticky tan where you're waiting ages like the Bondi Sands original foam mousse. They are like that, but this one isn't. It's more like a average drying down time. And it feels nice in your skin, it doesn't really feel like drying or anything, I don't really feel my skin feeling like dry or icky or anything. I think it does have, what does it have in it? It's fragrance free actually, so it doesn't really have much of a smell to it either. I think the plastic is smelling smells from the actual bottle. But, <laughs> I tried to get a smell and I didn't see the small print, it's fragrance free. Hey ho. Um, I think it does have ingredients in it, but I'm not entirely sure that it hydrates your skin. Because I think it's meant to be more of a natural tan. It's also vegan too, so that's a good thing. I remember seeing it on what was it, Super Drug, and it said it's a vegan tan, so it's really, really good if you are vegan or you are into cruelty free, or like you just can't tolerate like any brands that like aren't cruelty free, which I think we all should be going towards a cruelty free brands. Um, then it's good for you and I prefer personally to get brands and purchase beauty products and all from brands that are cruelty, cruelty free and also the vegan ones too like too but yeah it's quite good because it'll suit everyone. Um, what else? It wears off really really well like I wore it, was it last Friday the first time I put it on before going to work I wore it and it looked really really nice on and um when it rinsed it off it looked like a beautiful like dark colour some parts it can look ultra dark even though it doesn't look in the camera i would say like it is like definitely dark but it can be built up ultra dark maybe like in one coat it does go ultra dark i'd say sometimes my arms will look like that but i would say two layers will get me ultra dark with this tan but sometimes it can look ultra dark with only one layer it does wear off nice and smooth and evenly. Like when I had it on Friday, it went on beautifully. It washed off beautifully, like the guy coloured and washed all down the drain, gave me a decent colour after. And it just wore off nice and beautifully. Half of the time I was expecting to go a bit patchy by like the Tuesday, but it wasn't. I did exfoliate a little bit in Tuesday just to get the dead skin cells off. And also on Thursday. Well, no, yeah, it was Tuesday and Friday, but I didn't do like a really rough exfoliating. But just more to get my tan ready for tan on Friday. I was meant to tan on Tuesday, but then I got too lazy. <laughs> but, um, 
yes it didn't go all patchy or anything it went off really really smoothly like it didn't look like patches of anything it just looked nice and even like an actual tan would wear off your skin that kind of vibe of it which is really really good and you would expect that for paying like 20 pounds for this tan so it is worth it for me and it is easy to apply um it does sometimes can take a little bit of work to blend in it depends but usually it's decent at applying like you can apply it and have it looking even the guy colors were above so it is definitely so um i'm gonna go to the before turn and after demo So what I say it's for you, I would say if you're looking for a, like a natural but olive tan, it's definitely going to be for you. And if you're looking for a vegan tan and cruelty free tan, definitely because this one is cruelty free. And if you are looking for an all dark tan, if you're pale, even if you have to use two coats, definitely it's going to give you like the nicest colour ever, like it's going to definitely get you there, the all dark. And if you don't mind spending about £20 on the tan to get a decent one, then it's for you. And if you are looking for a fragrance free tan or like a minimal smell on tan, definitely. And especially if you've got sensitive skin, definitely it's got ingredients that's not going to irritate your skin. Like I found my skin didn't irritate with this tan and I had it on my face and everything, so it's fine for that. But I would say if you're going to tan your face, do a patch test before you put it over your face if you're not used to it. Especially if you've got very, very sensitive skin. I have sensitive skin, but it isn't like really, really, really sensitive. Like I can get away with most things, but I have to be careful sometimes. And if you're looking for an accessible tan, like you want to pop in super drug and buy a tan, definitely it's going to be free because it's going to be in the stores waiting for you to buy the bottle. It's not going to be for you if you are looking for a light or medium tan. No, I would say get their medium tan and mousse or one of the gradual to get a lighter colour. It's not going to be for you if you're expecting what does go on like a golden tan. If you're expecting it to stay really, really warm, then no. Go for something like um, the Soleil tan in Superdrug. Get that. Or the, let me see what else ones are golden. There's quite a few of them that are golden. Maybe the liquor called by Bondi Sands, one of them. And it's not going to be free if you don't have the budget to buy this tan. And let's say before you get a voucher for your birthday, then it's for you. But if you're looking for a tan that you can easily repurchase, you have it in your budget every single month, every two months. But you can only afford really like a £10 or below tan, I'd say no. Maybe that, if it's a special occasion, if you can. 
yes, but for daily talent, you're gonna have to watch it for the no, um, or should I say weekly or twice weekly talent. Um, it's not gonna be for you if you really want a nice fragrance to your tan, you want like a nice cherry or watermelon, no. But mainly for me, I prefer like a good tan, it's gonna get me a nice colour and it's gonna wear off nicely and last nicely over the smell of it. Um, what else? And it's not good if you, if you live in a country where you can't get effing tan. <laughs> Sorry, I'm just laughing because that name cracks me up. But if you live in a country where this tan isn't available, then it's not going to be free unless you have a friend who lives in the country where it is accessible and you can, they can send it over. Then, yeah, but if not, no. So, I hope you enjoyed this video and I'll see you again for the next one. Say gorgeous. God bless. Bye.